Well, hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. T-G-I-F. I used to live for Friday. So what we're going to do is I want to show you my latest art haul. It's got to be my last because I have been ordering and ordering and ordering and I need to start doing, doing, doing. So um, here I want to show you. I have decided that um, when I do my stamps, I really like the archival ink. I like, and I think I'm only going to buy the archival ink until I can see what else. I mean, the reason why I like archival ink is because the stamp pad is very, very firm. And I like that because then when you put stuff on here, you don't get the little square edges. And that's why I like the firm archival ink. So I got purple. Um, I also got these these stamps. So let's test them out. Let's see. See, you don't get the, you don't get the, the square ends because it's such firm pad. Oh, I like it. Oh, I really like that. That's nice. I got to clean these out. Got to clean these off good because it is purple. That's why I like to have these extra, um, papers and stuff like that, scrap papers lying around because that way I can use this stuff. I can use it in my um, collage work and things like that. Love making my own collage papers. This, I don't, now I'm, a, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a black and white gray kind of a person and these colors are a little out of my comfort zone, but you never know. I got to like step out. Ooh, that's pretty. I got to step out of my comfort zone. And that's why I got these colors, especially for my art journaling. Um, see, like, I like this watering can gray. <laughs> Let's try that one. I like the smaller ones too, because these are good for distressing. I do have some distress ink stamps. Um, and I do have, um, a, when I first started stamping, of course, I got the one of those very inexpensive stamps. Um, let's try this archival ink. Ooh. That is pretty. Let's do an H. Oh, I like that. I love that how these pads are so firm. Yep, I like that. Well, I like these. I like these too. I do have um, alphabet stamps, but they're a lot smaller. So these are nice. This is how they came, sort of. I think there was one thing that went across here. And I was, I don't know, glad I didn't lose anything yet. So these are nice for distressing also, see? Very nice. Alexa, skip. I don't like, I like instrumental music. I do not like talking <laughs> in my instrumental music. Um, ooh, let's try this green. Well, you know what? I will try the green when I show you my stamps. So I've got some stamps. Uh, I like Tim Holtz. And then I got a couple others. I do have the blocks, the stamping blocks, but I'm not going to get those out for now. I just want to test these out a little bit for my art haul video. Let's do, um, let's do the music one. Let's see how that looks with this green, leaf green. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's very detailed for something small. See how detailed that is for a small stamp? That's really nice. I really should be using the block. That's pretty. 
that's very nice and that's very detailed for a very small stamp stick that back on there I don't know if you've seen my um, art office organization I have reorganized and I now have some wonderful drawers where I can put all the stamp stuff so that's the leaf green we did we did the watering can one let's do this blue let's do the bee these these were on sale, so that's why I grabbed them, because I like the bee. Always check out the sale bins. <laughs> Always. Let me tell you, I get a lot of my art supplies from the Dollar Tree. So, where's the top to the leaf green? Let's put that on. Um, I get a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree. Let me tell you, really great information, really great stuff there. Um, all right, that didn't work. Here we go. Let's try this really nice bee. That's a nice bee. Let's do the blue. The bee in blue. I should be using the blocks. Oh, that's kind of nice, huh? That turned out nice for not using the block. I like that. Okay. So that's nice. I like my stamps. I put my stamps in my artwork, in my art journals. So those are the stamps. So I did get more um, ink. I've got the Amsterdam acrylic ink. Oh, that looks pretty. We'll test that out. Because I've got new nibs, as you can see that they're hidden down there. Let's see, which one is this? I got another um, De La Rowney, it looks like. De La Rowney, and this is... Payne's Gray. Oh, Payne's Gray is my favorite color. We'll test that one. And um, oh, and another De La Rowney white. Nice white. So um, I'm a little upset, or not upset, but disappointed because of the gold um, ink that I got. I think it was Winsor Newton. Um, it did not. It was so gunky at the bottom. I shook it, shook it, shook it, shook it, and uh, it never worked. It was it was just terrible. Then I read the reviews, which I should have read before I bought it. Um, but it was Windsor Newton, so I didn't think I had to read the reviews. Um, a lot of people had problems doing the dip pen with it, so I probably can use it with paintbrush, but dip pen gold, no, probably won't be able to do it. I do have gold pens. I have gold paint. I mean, it won't hurt me that I don't have the gold dip pen, but eventually I'm gonna get that, um, I'm gonna get the, the gold that Denise Love, she buys. And I can't, I can't remember what it is right now. But so I got these, I got more pen nibs. Cause I wanted something kind of cool looking with the wood. Aren't these nice? These are real nice. K-U-E-L-O-X with an umlaut Q-O-X. So let's test. Let's test out the Payne's Gray. Because, you know, I just love this kind of thing. May as well. Right? <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Test. Oh, that's pretty. Testing. It didn't last long. doesn't stay on that very long. Let's try a different one. Um, let's try this one. We will try the turquoise. 
I mean, I am new to these pendants. I've always used a rapidograph when I was in high school and I used to do pen and ink all the time. I have never used these kind of nibs before. That looks nice. That looks good. That holds a little bit a little long. It holds the ink a little longer than that one nib did. So okay. I'll just have to play with them a lot a lot, a lot more and get better with them. And there's a couple classes that I saw online on YouTube by someone who is very good at ink. Um, his name is Mark Brewer. So I will let you know how those worked out. But I heard him on an, uh, I listen to podcasts all day too. And he was on an art podcast, Mark Brewer. And he sounded very interesting. So I will let you know how those classes go. They're on YouTube. They're free. I'm all about free classes, but um, let me tell you, I also pay for classes too. So I like both. If I have, if there's someone that I really like, I will pay for their classes. So I got this. I must show you. Okay, let me put these away. And then, of course, you know, because I'm more about aesthetics too, and I I have a gazillion paintbrushes over there. I just want to move this because I don't want it to get burned. But I wanted something just like the pen nibs. I wanted something kind of cool. Not that I would use them. I think this is wolf hair. I know, I think it's from China and I know <laughs> some, I, I, I looked at the thing, every one of these is different hair. One squirrel hair, there's wolf hair, there's horse hair. I am a animal lover, believe me. Um, I just, I know, I know, don't, I, don't send me emails. But look at these really, aren't these so cool? Look at this. I just wanted to use these um, as I'm painting. I think it will help me to just, I just want to have fun when I'm, I'm painting. That's why when I do these videos, I just want to have fun. I'm having fun. I don't want to monetize or um, force you to subscribe and like things. You'll do that on your own if you like me. And if you want, if you like my videos, you'll follow me. So, um, uh, uh, and if not, if I have five subscribers, I do this for me because I'm here in my art office and I'm never gonna leave this art office now that I have reorganized it and everything. So why can't I share my love and my fun with you guys? And if not, um, then maybe um, I'm saving this for, um, for my nieces and nephews and their kids so that they could, know what their Aunt Cindy is like, and their great Aunt Cindy, and their great, great, great Aunt Cindy. My grandchildren, they'll figure out what I was, what I'm kind of a person that I am because they don't know me now. So maybe one day they'll see these videos and they'll figure out, oh, that's what she was like. <laughs> now these, these I got, um, these are my favorite. I cannot wait to use these. Um, Denise Love um, had these on her video and I had to immediately order these because these are color cubes. And I'm telling you, this will help me immensely because when I'm doing stuff, you know, um, I'm painting watercolors, I do acrylics, uh, I'll mix media, I'll use watercolor and acrylics together. Um, sometimes I, in my art journals and things, or in a painting, I don't know what colors to use. Sometimes I use the same colors over and over and over. Now with these, it's gonna take me to the next level because what these are are color palettes. And you just pick a, a, a card and it will tell you what colors to use. Look at that. Oh, black, indigo, blue, cornflower, blue, gray. Um, hey, not bad. So it tells you the color numbers. It has the tones and um, shades. But now if I did, I, I would love doing this. I never, uh, maybe I would have thought of it, but um, I would do an art journal with all these colors. And if I don't have these colors, I know how to mix to make these colors. Cause uh, if you, um, it's going on right now, the free tasters for Kaleidoscope that Tamara Laporte puts out. And it's um, classes and it's all about color uh, theory and things like that. So um, I've got all of her kaleidoscopes for every year. I first started doing it last year 
and now I'm doing it this year and I do have the two previous years that I've been doing that I, I bought those so I have unlimited access to those classes and it teaches you about color theory and you know how to use colors and things like that so if you it's still going on it's free it's called kaleidoscope look up tamara laporte google her or go to her um uh go i'll put a link to her her um website it's willowing.org where you could still sign up because i know it ends this week but they always add another week and these are uh, these are uh, uh, like um i think 16 17 teachers there's like three lessons a day so i'm like a little behind but they're free art classes so go out there and have some fun and then if you want to purchase the classes then you have unlimited access to these wonderful wonderful classes Tamara Laporte is one of my favorite teachers and she is a wonderful teacher and you will want to do every single one of her classes because she is so much fun to do art with. Now look at that color palette. Now that's different. I like that. So this is the cube one. Let me do it. Cube two, I think, um, I had some color, is some shades that I really liked. Let's see. Let's pick one. Let's do... I think there's 500. I want to do every single one. <gasps> Ooh, look at those colors. Now, yes, that would be a nice palette. That would make a nice journal. I like that. That's pretty. Blood orange coffee, dark teal, burnt sienna. That's nice. I like those colors. And then what I'm going to do is once, I'm just going to put a little X up here once I do them. Because I want to do every single one. I'm not going to go one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes I do do that, but no, I like to just pick. Ooh, here's one, too. Ooh, look at that. Let's do. Let's do. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Those are pretty. See, I just love that I don't have to think anymore. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is great. Look at those. I can't wait. So, yeah, I went uh, uh, on a little rampage this last week and this week and last week. Uh, June is my no spend month <laughs> and I did really horribly because <laughs> I found a teacher that I loved and she showed me a ton of really great stuff. So I can't wait to show you what I do with these and all of my stuff. I can't wait to put it away. Please go out and look at my um, office organization video because now that I have a nice place to put all of this stuff, I'm never ever leaving this office. <laughs> And I want to do another um, art chit chat. Um, maybe I'll do it tomorrow because now that I have these, we'll do a, um, we'll pick one of one of these um, color palettes, and I'll do an art chit chat with you guys tomorrow. How's that? Will you have a good Friday? Take care. Oh boy.